This video is a little bit different. This video is more geared towards how I stay able to skate and be explosive at 37 years old. So it is just about 10 a.m. and I am on my way to a boxing session right now. And this is one of the ways that I stay fit and healthy in order to skateboard at the level that I'm still able to thankfully skate at after, you know, I've been doing it for 24 years, it'll be 25 on my 38th birthday coming up in April, and I turned pro in 2014, uh, I, would, it, I come from a very different era in skateboarding, especially here in California where we didn't have skate parks, so I skated the street every day. Uh, I didn't consistently skate a skate park until around 2008, I believe it was, when Lafayette Park was first made. And even then, uh, I would skate there, but I, it wasn't a part of my habit. And so my body uh, accrued lots of wear and tear over the years. There, you know, there was a time in my Hollywood High days where I jumped down an eight stair with the crustiest ground every single day for you know four to seven hours every day uh, and I did that for years and so my body's taken a beating over the years and I noticed a few things uh, first off I believe that I hit my physical prime around 33 34 years old that's when all of the physical things that I wanted to do that I was able to do everything physically that I could think of mentally and I'd never felt that good before. Now, in 2020, at 35, I sustained an injury. And initially, I thought that it was just a simple sprained ankle, but it turned out it was pretty awful. And it took me a year to come back from that. So I was able to skate after three or four months, but I didn't feel comfortable and my ankle didn't regain its mobility until about August of last year, so August of 2021. And it had never taken me that long to heal from an injury. I actually have had knee surgery in the past, and that was for my a torn right meniscus. And I was skating on that torn right meniscus because I was going to a doctor, a well-known skate doctor, and he's not really a doctor, let's just say that. He gave me bad advice. He told me that my ligament wasn't torn when in fact it was. So I was uh, working with him and I thought that it was healed and it wasn't. So when I thought that it broke, that, it, that, the, that the ligament tore again, it was actually the ligament had started to grow back on its own and properly. So it had to be scoped away and I have 40% of a meniscus in my right knee. So at the end of every session, I've got a healthy amount of fluid around my knee because there's no padding in there. But uh, I mean, that's just, that's, 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 you pay the cost to play this game, you know? That's, that's what it is. Um, but not only, but when I actually did get the knee surgery, it took me about six weeks of uh, recovery and physical therapy and I was back on my board. Um, so yeah, and I tore the plantar fascia ligament uh, underneath my right foot as well. And when I got that surgery, it took me about eight weeks and physical therapy to come back from. So to sprain my ankle, and what it was was there were a bunch of micro tears, and the doctors told me if I had broken my ankle or torn a ligament, it would have been better. But the reason that I went to this is because that was at age 35, and that took me the longest to heal that any injury I've ever had has. The last uh, 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 ankle sprain that I had of that severity was in, I think, 2010, and it took me three months to heal from, and it was about the same severity, and I healed from that while being in India, skating in a stunt show for two months. So, my ankle had been sprained for two months, 
when I got there and I was still wearing a brace and still getting that really prickly, awkward ankle sprain feeling. And about three weeks in, my ankle felt fine and I was able to heal while skating. Well, when you're in your mid thirties, all of that stops. So from, so 33, 34 was like my prime. I mean. And then at 35, that started to slow down and I was only made aware of that by that injury. And so during that injured period, you know, I drank more than I should have. We were all sitting at home. It was COVID time. And uh, I got up to 230 pounds. Okay, And I'd already been kickboxing and boxing for a while, but not as consistently as I should have, you know. And I was in the gym one day and I weighed myself after a grueling session and it was 225 pounds. And, you know, I decided that I needed to change a lot of things in my life. And so I'm down to 203 pounds. And it's been about four months of me taking my weight and my health very seriously. And boxing helps. Got the boxing done. Now, uh, time to get beat up, really. The strength and conditioning, that's, that's the kicker. That is the kicker. Boxing and kickboxing, they really help. But also, I use an app called My Fitness Pal. I track my macros, I track my meals, I supplement with protein to try to hit my daily protein goal. I try to hit 200 grams of protein a day. It's very difficult with uh, the Western diet, and so I have to supplement with protein. I have to use things like Sigus yogurt that are high in protein, low in fat. And I also make sure that I get in at least four workouts other than skateboarding every week. And this has allowed me to stay in better shape and I'm feeling closer to how I felt in that prime area. I'm now 37, gonna be 38 soon. I just wanted to touch on this because, you know, for a lot of us older skaters, we start to feel like there's nothing we can do. And I started to think that my testosterone levels were low. So I actually consulted with a doctor and I got my blood work done. And it came back that my testosterone was pretty high for my age, like 721. And all of my, my, my profile was great. So that made me aware that it was all my fault. It was all based on my habits. It was all based on me not keeping everything dialed in. And from that moment, I have been more focused on dialing in my nutrition and getting in those workouts. I started out doing 100 push-ups a day and it was a struggle. I could only do 10 at a time. I got to the point where I could do 35 at a time and then where I was doing 150 a day and then I realized I needed to add more exercises. So now I have routines that I do. I won't get into them too far, but it's helped. I'm skating better. I did a big kickflip back tail on this high ledge the other day. I haven't been able to do to kickflip that high since 2020 before the injury that I sustained. So I'm definitely feeling the results and seeing the results. And I just wanted to make this video to help motivate some of you guys because it is possible to feel as good as you did in your 20s. It's gonna take work and it's gonna take some personal accountability, but I feel like that's a challenge that's worthwhile. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna know more about this subject. And also please, let me know what tricks you guys want me to cover because I want to cover the tricks that you guys need help with. This is my boy, Marcos Bonilla, El Yo. Matador. <laughs> this is the dude that is partially responsible for my entire transformation, feeling better. I, I stress it so much. Yeah, but a big partially, because if I wasn't coming in here, I wouldn't have been motivated to do any exercise outside of skateboarding. Because like, yeah, but. It, it, it's all you though, it's, it's all, it, you just wanted to make a difference. I mean, it goes hand in hand. Like all this shit improves your skateboarding, keeps you healthy. Uh, Hell yeah, it injury does. Injury prevention. I mean, all the shit that we do here, it, it's, it's just gonna help your overall performance. Or whatever it is that you're doing, so. Look this dude up. He's a savage. <laughs> he fights professionally. I would, I could never imagine getting hit in the face willingly. That's so scary to me. I would rather 
hit the concrete on a skateboard it's any like day. It's the same thought for me. Like, I think about fucking jumping down a 15, 15 stair fucking handrail and I'm like, can't do it anymore. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Hell yeah. If you guys are in LA, hit this dude up. Like, his training sessions have made such a big difference in my life and just like, just like me not being lazy when I'm not skating in general, like, hit him up. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Like, it'll help you out. Not just about getting fit, just your mindset in general. Like, because the more active you are, the better life you'll live. Peace.